I feel like I'm compelled to write. I feel like it's just something I need to do. Um, some stories just come to me naturally and others I have to work for, but pretty much I just want to write. I love writing. I think pretty much everybody has to choose their the way that they feel comfortable. I mean, I know for me, I didn't have confidence in my own abilities. So I have, I went ahead and published um, three novels on my own because I really didn't even know anything about the um, process at all. And so I didn't, I didn't have the confidence and I just didn't think I'd get picked up. So I chose to go through a publisher that um, published the books for me, but it's not really, it's not like a publisher kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but um, I went that route. And then I started doing magazine submissions. But I mean, I think if you know you're good and you've had a lot of people tell you that, um, you could definitely go traditional if you're willing to wait. And I guess it's a lot of work to do a novel that way. I know for magazine submissions, it's a lot of work. Um, and it takes time to get your work out there. And I think it's really just a comfort level for each, in each individual person. Not usually. Um, I like to, I think I write a lot, of, uh, I think it's a good mix, like half and half. Like I write a lot of dark stuff and it's really a blessing when some of the humor pieces come to me because it's kind of like a break from like this dark stuff. I do a lot of stuff um, about kid trauma um, or abuse and different things like that. A lot of stories with a sad ending and um, I just feel like these little humor stories are such a refreshing break for me. And so I've done a few and I think it's a pretty fair mix, but um, yeah, definitely. Um, and they're my favorite to write. Well, I think it came from, and I don't really know sometimes where my stories come from, but I think because of the royal wedding, I just thought it would be super funny if um, there was a story about these this royal couple that was like so prim and proper and they had this child that was just like completely a total hick. Um, so I think it just had kind of to do with the royal wedding and whatnot. But um, yeah. Well, little Miss Sassafras over here. We got her because we live in New Hampshire. There's a lot of ticks um, and everybody told us, oh, get a duck. She will eat all of the ticks in the yard. And so I was gonna have her be like a free range, a free range duck. And um, then they handed her to me and she was like this little tiny yellow fluff ball and she was absolutely adorable. And I could not leave her to roam around by herself. So now I do stories about Miss Sassafras and she is absolutely the best pet ever. Um, everybody should have a duck. She's way better than a dog. And she's so funny and she is very agreeable. If you have worms, she'll do anything you want. Um, I think as far as writing goes, if it was a question about writing, it's when a story is there from start to finish and I, my fingers are just like flying over the keys because it's just like so easy. Um, and then maybe a couple of days later submitting the story and then having it be published. Like I knew it was there, it's like all there and it's good and it's going and it, it got accepted. That's really exciting. Non-writing world, um, probably hiking to the top of a mountain is pretty exciting. Um, I don't know. I mean, if it pertained to writing, I think my self-confidence is still a little low and I think that will get better with more that I write. But in like my just regular everyday life, I think that it's important that I don't know, people know that I love wilderness and animals and I have a grandson and I love my life in New Hampshire and living here and I mean I think that's pretty much it.